Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will finally take you into my little pottery. If you have watched me um, before, you know that in my intro I always say and some pottery and some painting. And finally I'm going to show you some pottery on my channel. Um, I have done pottery just for a little while, uh, in total for two years about. And so I'm not a professional, but I love doing it. I just love doing it. So I will take you with me today and show you what I have created out there. So let's get to it. So this is my pottery space. I have my kiln there and a wood burner for the winter. Not much insulation here. And I start by taking a piece of clay and I am rolling it out to a slab. And I'm using these um, wood pieces there to keep it an even thickness of the clay. Now I am smoothing out the surface of the slab on both sides and uh, I'm doing that to compress the clay and that will prevent it from uh, cracking and as you can see I'm using like a um, uh, business card or, or a credit card and now I am measuring out uh, I'm going to make a mug a tea mug, a very large tea mug. It is for my brother-in-law. I'm actually making two mugs for him. And, um, and he liked them very, very large. So that's what I'm doing. They will be like uh, 17 centimeters high. And that is large for a tea mug. And uh, most of my decorations I do when it's flat like this and, uh, and then I'm beveling the edges to make it a lot easier to put it together later on and smooth out the rim. And then I just put it away and let it set for a little while. The other mug I'm doing some imprints of uh, butterflies and then I'm writing the words I am free. Now I'm making handles, one for each mug and set them aside and let them set a little before I will attach them. Now it's time to put the mug together. First I'm shaping it into a cylinder, like so. If you're new to my channel, 
Hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do a lot of uh, DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative. And if you feel like this is up your alley, please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. Now it's time to do the legs and I love making the tripod legs and I'm just wetting the surface and uh, I'm pressing the clay and shaping the three legs and then I have a hole in the middle there and I have a little piece of clay, a round piece that I'm putting on top there, smoothing everything out. At the same time I'm also doing a candle holder. I have pressed down a leaf from the garden and I'm cutting out the shape and taking off the leaf and there I have a nice shape and a nice imprint of the leaf so that is the first step smoothing the edges of course and i'm placing it down and it looks quite flat at the moment so i will try to shape it as I see fit and more leaf-like, life-like if you will. And I'm using some sponges to support the clay until it has set a little bit. Now I'm making the little cylinder that you put the candle in. Uh, you will see what I mean in while I'm doing it. I'm using this dowel to um, know the size of the cylinder I'm making because it's more or less the size of a candle and it will shrink a little bit when it's drying as well so I have to take that in consideration. Now I'm attaching the cylinder to the leaf and then I'm almost done. I have also made a handle to go with this candle holder. Now the mugs are stable enough to let me put on the handles and the handles are also um, not dried of course but steady enough, leather hard.
Now I'm taking some small coils of the clay and just reinforcing the handles. And then it's time to put my little seal on it, MK. And here they are set aside to dry. The candle holder has its sandal now. Also made some owls. And now firing the first firing, 1000 degrees Celsius. And here they are, bisked fired. As you can see, I also made some other items, some smaller mugs, a bowl, larger mugs, and the candle holder you can see there, and the dish. And now it is time to glaze them. I sanded them before and now they are stacked in the kiln ready for the next firing the glaze firing that goes up to 1230 degrees and here they are ready the candle holder is so beautiful look at the color and you can see the mugs there that I'm giving to my brother-in-law also some green on the imprint So, what did you think of my pottery? Do you like videos like this? Uh, leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, please like and share. And uh, thank you so, so very much for watching. And I see you soon again in my next one. Take care. Bye.